Hey guys, this is Afik. Uh, one of my customers asked for me as a side project to integrate into his site a messenger app. And I thought this could be a nice use case for us to try and tackle it together. So I scaffold here uh, an example. Uh, so this is the product I want to have eventually. I'm going to have a list of contacts and I can select one contact here and let's say I want to contact um, Elisa Hansen. I can see uh, the history of all our messages together and I can send her a message saying hello and now if you can take a look here the green dot in here states that she got a new message. You can click on recode. This is the user right here and she can see the message and reply back hey how are you and you get the message right here so the technologies we're going to use uh, for this to work is Vue.js so we're going to set up a component called chat app uh, we're going to put it inside our Laravel and we're going to split everything to small components we're going to have a contact list component a feed a header and a message composer component and the way we use uh, the way we handle notifications is going to be uh, using Laravel echo and what else uh, we're going to use the uh, mysql database uh, to store all the messages and the contacts uh, all the list of contacts is going to be uh, registered users inside our application we're not going to have uh, like a belong to many relationship for each user that has many contacts you can do that in your own app i'm just gonna sorry i'm gonna get a list of all the, the users in our database and just spit them out here um, and we can communicate between each one of them Okay, so again, we're going to use Laravel for our backend and for the API. We're going to use Vue.js for the components and Laravel Echo to handle notifications. Okay, so let's just exit out of those two and let's get started. Um, inside my code directory, I'm going to create a new project. Let's call this one, um, let's say, chat. I'm going to cd into our project and let's make sure that it works. Since I'm using Laravel Valet, I can visit my browser. Um, at um, test uh, chat dot test and here is my Laravel project. Great. First step will be to scaffold a, a login and uh, registration system. And with Laravel, it's that easy. You can just write PHP artisan make auth, and it will create all the authentication controllers and um, templates for you. Um, next, let's go into my SQL and my user is root, and I have no password. And I'll create a new database for this project. So database, oh, wow, database. Um, let's give it chat DB. Okay, and exit. Now let's go into our um, project. Open it up in Visual Studio Code. I'll visit my .env file. Let's change the name to um, We Code Messenger. Okay, uh, inside our DB connection, MySQL is good. Uh, DB database, uh, we have um, chat DB, uh, username is root, and there is no password. Okay, now we can go back here. And before I'm going to migrate the, the default users uh, table we get from Laravel, I want to add two columns to it. One of them is going to be a phone number, and the other one is going to be a profile image. Okay, so each user will have a profile image. I'm not going to set it up uh, inside the registration. So both of them are going to be uh, nullable and I can inject them manually. This one and the phone as well. Next, let's go into our factory, into our user factory and add those columns. Um, we have phone here and we can use faker phone number and another one for profile image. So profile image and the value for that is going to be uh, a placeholder uh, for 150 by 150 image this is a free service you can use to get a placeholder image so if i paste it inside my browser this is what we're going to get and this is good enough for us okay save this one and let's generate a list of let's say uh, 15 users but before that let's do php artisan migrate okay Let's tinker into our application. We need a factory for app user. And let's create 15 users. Okay, 
Okay, let's do the same for uh, messages. So uh, I need a few things for this application. One, I need uh, a migration for um, messages. So PHP artisan make migration. Let's call this one uh, create messages table. And we will create, create a table called messages. Okay, we also need a model for this one. So PHP artisan make model message. Okay, I think that's good enough for us. Let's go here into the create messages table. Okay, and for each message, we'll have a integer for the user we're sending the message from. So from, and this is going to be an unsigned int. We're going to have the same for the ID of the user we're going to send the message to. And finally, we'll have a column for uh, text, and the name is going to be text. And I think this is all we need for now. So let's go back here and migrate our database again. Go back into Tinker. Uh, we need to create messages, but we don't have the factory yet. So let's go back to our user factory and create another one for app message. Uh, we need a column from another one to and a text okay all the rest is not necessary the text is going to be a faker sentence from and to we're going to create them right here we're going to do um, from is equal to a range from 1 to 15 and to is going to be also a range from 1 to 15 and I want to make sure that I'm not creating a message where the user uh, sends messages to himself so while from is equal to 2 okay so if this condition is met we'll keep generating numbers until we get from and to that are different and the from is going to be the user ID we send the message from and the same for two. Okay, let's save this one. Go back into our terminal, PHP Artisan Tinker, and recreate a factory for a message. And let's create like 150 messages. Okay, um, we have typo here, so range. Okay, and we also need to go to our message model and add a protected guarded. This one is going to be an empty array, so we can assign data to all the columns. And sorry, I'm not supposed to use range, but rand, because I want to get random number between 1 to 15 uh, to uh, simulate like uh, user IDs, because I've generated 15 users. I want to make sure that those users sent messages uh, between themselves. So random number between 1 to 15. Uh, and while it equals, we're going to generate new numbers. So the from and to will be different. Okay, let's go back in here and do PHP artisan tinker and create a factory for 150 uh, messages. Create and now it works. Let's visit our SQL Pro and here is our users. Go back to our messages and here's the list of all our messages. As you can see, the from and to are always different. Okay, great. I think we have what we need um, as far as data. So now we can uh, start working on our Vue.js site. Let's go back into our application and visit the home.blade.php. And I don't care about the session and I don't care about this one. I want this card body to be the root of my application. So let's set this one um, ID equals app because inside my app.js, uh, not this one, but the other app.js file right here. As you can see, uh, I'm looking for an element with an ID of app. Okay, and I want to make sure that this one is a little bit wider. So let's do a small and grab the entire width of the of the container. And let's make sure that it works. Refresh the page, and I think I can log in with one of the users. Uh, let's grab this email right here. Um, the default password is secret and as you can see this is the card it is empty let's go back here and let's change the dashboard here to um, we code messenger 
save this one, refresh, and this is what we have here. Okay, let's go to our app.js and we're going to change the example component to, let's create another component called chat app. It's going to be inside our components directory and this example component is going to be changed to chat app.view. Okay, and we'll change this one, rename it. Okay, and now we need to install all our um, npm dependencies. Let's go back into our terminal and npm install for everything. Okay, now that it's done, we can do npm run watch. Okay, now that it's compiled, we can uh, keep working on our uh, Vue.js site. Uh, let me pull up the image that I had earlier for the messenger. And let's think about it for a second. We need uh, two main components. One of them is gonna be a list of contacts and the other one is going to represent, uh, let's say, the conversation. And this conversation is going to be split into three different components. Uh, we're going to have a header, that uh, this one contains the name of the user. Uh, we're going to have a feed of messages for us and the current user. And we're going to have a message composer right here. Uh, it's just the text area that we can write messages and hit enter to send them. Okay, so uh, let's go into our chat app. And I think we can remove everything from here. We'll create div with the class chat app. Okay, and the way I like to write components is by like imagining that I already have those components and inject them the props I wish uh, they could receive and then create the components and make sure that it all works. Okay, so I need a component for conversation. This conversation is going to be with a contact, so let's send down a prop with contact let's call it selected contact and I'll set it up here uh, in the local data of my component so the data is going to be a function that returns an object with selected contact and it's going to be null by default and we also need a list of messages okay uh, we also going to have them inside our data so messages right here is going to be a list of messages Okay, and the next component is going to be a, let's call this one contacts list. This contact list is going to have a list of contacts. So contacts, and I will create those here as another array of contacts. And I think this is all we need for now. We're probably going to have more in the future, but I think that's good enough uh, to start with. Now, once this component is mounted, I want to get uh, into my application and grab the list of contacts. So let's do axios.get. We'll go into contacts. Okay, and once we have it, we get a response back and we can assign this dot contacts. It's going to be equal to the response dot data. Okay, now let's go into our route slash web. And you normally gonna put it inside uh, your API routes and set up an API authorization key to make sure that you can send those requests and authorize yourself or the users. But in this case, I'm not gonna bother with, uh, with authentication, not even basic, because this is irrelevant for this tutorial. I'll create another route here. So route get for um, slash contacts. And we're gonna call the contacts controller and a method called get. Okay, now we need to create this controller. So let's go back here and php artisan make contro controller and contacts controller. Okay, let's go into the contacts controller and create a function um, called get. I will get no arguments in the request and we are going to for now, fetch all the users. So let's call them contacts. So it's gonna be user um, all. And then we can return a response JSON with all the contacts right here. Okay, so contacts. And make sure we are using app user. Okay, let's make sure that it works. We can go back into our chat app and you know what, before we can even check that, we need to create those components. So conversation is going to be right here, conversation.view, and another one for contacts list.view. Okay, and this one 
we'll have a template, um, we'll have a div with a class of contacts list, and a script to export default this component. Okay, we're going to do the same thing inside our conversation. The class name is going to be conversation and export default nothing for now. Let's do um, console.log for this response dot data to make sure that we get a list of contacts. Now we can go back to the terminal and fire up the watch command again. Make sure that it all compiles and I haven't imported the uh, the components. So we can do uh, import conversation from conversation and the same for, for a contact list. And then we can declare we're using them inside a components key and the value is going to be those two components. So conversation and contact list. Save them again. Go back to our browser. Refresh. And let's make sure we have it inside our console and we don't right we didn't uh, add the component into our application so we can go back into our home.blade and right here we can call chat app this is the component that is made uh, globally available inside our app.js right here we register a global component for view and i want to make sure that i pass in the current user because i know i'll need it later so we can grab the authenticated user and send it down to our component and go back into our chat app and make sure we have props and we need a prop for a user and it's going to be a type object and required and now let's let's console.log this.user and you're also going to console log the response once it's available so go back to our browser console and refresh and this is the user and this is a list of all the contacts okay so far so good and now that we have contacts we can start working on the contact list component okay so let's go into our contact list component and inside the main div we can create an onward list with a list item for each contact so we need a v4 uh, contact in contacts and we need to make sure we have this defined inside our props. So contacts is a type of array and let's say it defaults to an empty array. So default is an empty array. We need a key for each item. So it's gonna be the contact.id. And let's see, let's pull up the image again. And we need the left side to have an avatar and the right side to have the contact name and the contact email okay so we're gonna have two uh, root divs run for the image one for the name uh, okay so we need a div with the class of avatar and it will have an image the source is gonna be uh, the contact dot profile image and let's set the alt to the contact dot name and next we need a contact information div. This one is going to have two paragraphs. Let's have one with a class of name and it will contain the contact dot name and another one for the email. And I think this is all we need for now. Let's save this one, go to our browser and refresh and we get a list of customers. Okay, great. Let's go back here uh, into our conversation component and let's open up the image again. And inside our conversation, inside our conversation component, we need three uh, different components. One of them is going to be the header. The other one is going to be the feed. And lastly, we're going to have a message composer. Okay. Okay. This is it for this episode. Uh, it's getting much longer than I expected. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to keep working on, their, uh, on our view components and make sure we design them to look more like a messenger. I'll leave a link in the description below to the GitHub uh, project once this series is over. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.